Hey guys, for your English task today, it's your job to write a non-fiction information text. So the information text you're going to be writing for today's task is an explanation text. I know there's a lot of shun words there, information, explanation, non-fiction, but this is an explanation text. And what you're going to be explaining is what is meant by the term deforestation. So basically, we've been reading a story today about a polar bear who loses its home because of global warming, because the climate keeps getting hotter and hotter and hotter. So climate change has impacted his life. He's, he's had to lose his home because the ice that he lives on is melting. And also the ice where he hunts for seals is melting, so he can't hunt for them there anymore. So he goes swimming and he gets really tired, so he has to get on a boat. And he finds a, a panda, and then he stumbles upon an orangutan. And the orangutan is homeless as well. Her forest that she lives in has disappeared, and there are no more trees for her to climb and no more trees for her to swing on. So she's now homeless as well, and she's looking for somewhere else to live with trees in it. So the reason why she's lost all of her trees is because of something called deforestation. Now, your job is to research on the internet but only with mummy and daddy helping you or an adult supervising you while you're on the internet otherwise you can use books if you've got really good information text about um, orangutans or about deforestation or about palm oil or something like that you can also use your reading comprehension text from today to help you with this work because it's got lots of information about deforestation and the effects it has on orangutans so collect a ton of facts about orangutans about why on earth deforestation is happening in our world about the impact that uh, deforestation can have on our planet and on global warming or climate change i want you to research into that really really a lot really really a lot that is the worst english i've ever heard in my life but never mind don't worry about it after you've collected all of your interesting facts, it's then your job to write an explanation text. So an explanation text always starts with a title, which might be deforestation, or it might be a question title like, why is deforestation happening? Or maybe what is deforestation? Okay, then you need to answer your question title in your introduction paragraph. Deforestation means blah, 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 blah. You might also include a couple of other facts in your introduction paragraph. Then I want you to do just three subheadings for me. Three subheadings, maybe one, orangutans. Number two, why is deforestation happening? Number three, what can we do to stop deforestation from happening anymore? Um, and then finally, you need to do me a little conclusion paragraph. And then perhaps you want to do a glossary. It's up to you. If you've put in, in your uh, information text or explanation text, sorry, a word that you think lots of people might not understand, for example, greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases, not everyone knows what they are. So I might put that word in my glossary and I might explain what a greenhouse gas is in that part. Or maybe you want to put palm oil in your glossary because not everyone knows what palm oil is or what it's used for. Um, do it in your neatest, best handwriting, and if you can, try to include a couple of pictures which explain what on earth you're talking about in your text. So if you're saying that when trees get cut down, there is less oxygen in our atmosphere and more carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, maybe you could draw me a picture explaining that process. Um, that's it, just make it look super beautiful, neatest, best handwriting for me, and I hope to see lots of your lovely work later on today. Bye.